Microwaves are a really handy kitchen appliance and are really useful for heating up leftovers, soup and hot chocolate. But did you know you can use them as well for cooking fresh food from scratch? We're going to go through five simple recipes that you can do to use a microwave when cooking food. Did you know that you can cook corn on the cob in the microwave with the husks still on? All you have to do is place the corn in the middle of the microwave and put on full power for three minutes. Then take it out and leave it on a board to cool. When it's cool enough to handle, cut off the end and pull the husks off the corn. There you go, corn on the cob cooked in just three minutes. To cook steamed broccoli using your microwave, chop up your broccoli into small pieces and place them in a large bowl. For half a head of broccoli, add in two tablespoons of water. Cover the bowl tightly using a plate or a cling film. Microwave on full power for three minutes first. And if they're not done, add a teaspoon more water and put back on for another 90 seconds. Be careful when removing the lid as the steam could burn you. There you go, perfectly steamed broccoli without a steamer. Did you know you can make homemade crisps using a microwave? Well, all you'll need is a plate, some kitchen paper and a potato. Slice up the potato as thinly as you can. We're talking about two to three millimeters thick. Rinse the slices in some cold water and dry them off using a clean tea towel. Then put two paper towels on a plate and arrange out as many slices as you can on the plate without them touching. Put them on full power for three minutes. Then turn over and put them on half power for another three minutes. Repeat with as many batches if you want. To make poached eggs, all you need is a smallish bowl, a mug, an egg and some water. You're going to fill the mug half full of water and empty it into the bowl. Crack the egg into the bowl, making sure it's completely submerged. Put the bowl in the microwave and put it on full power for one minute. Depending on the power of your microwave, this is sometimes all it needs. If it needs a bit more cooking to firm up after the minute, carefully flip the egg over and put it on for another 15 to 20 seconds. Voila, a perfectly poached egg. If you want to make porridge using a microwave, it takes a bit of planning, but it makes for a super easy breakfast if you're stuck for time in the morning and a bag of porridge will last you for weeks. The night before, grab any mug, fill it halfway full of porridge oats and empty it into a bowl. Then add a pinch of salt into the same mug, fill it with boiling water and pour it into the bowl with the oats. Put a dash more water in so you have a bit over one mug in there. Then stir it a little and leave in the bowl overnight. If you want, you can leave it in the microwave for extra handiness. The next morning, throw it on full power for 90 seconds. Give it a stir and then give it another 60 to 80 seconds in the microwave. Perfect porridge and no sticky pots or pans to clean up after. There you go. Five fresh foods you can rustle up using your microwave.